All right, so I'm going to show you my secret to getting a talk box type vibe going on the vocals. So these are my vocals from one of my recent tracks. Hold your glasses to the sky and hey DJ, turn me higher. You know it's going down, the club is on fire. Ain't got no time for haters, too busy burning paper. Throw it up, watch it fall from the sky. Now you know why this club's on fire. All right, so just the vocal, that's how it was mixed originally. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a talk box type sound. Now I know some of you are just drooling at the mouth, you wanna, you wanna see this effect, but before I show it to you, I do need to tell you something, and that is this. From my original pitched vocals tutorials, you would only know about this if you ordered that. This is also from our previous customers, all right, so that they know what's going on here. It was a secret we had, all right? And it's just my circle of group of people, people that know me and I deal with and they have ordered my tutorials. We're all cool. You know, I love my I love my customers and I love the support. But check this out. I am one of the first and foremost in pitch vocals and sound design, all right? There's no way around it. You can go down to the hater comment section and just leave your hater comment, say what you want, because some of you probably don't even know who I am. But here's the deal. It was a secret. I'm giving it away now as a sample. I want to give everyone a sample of what's on the new Pitched Vox tutorial DVD. What you're going to see here is just a sample, all right, of my creativity, the type of stuff I come up with, the sound design that I do, all right? And this only scratches the surface because once you learn these methods, you are able to use your creativity to expand. So I just thought I'd tell you guys that before I start this because if some of my previous customers are watching, they're probably like, oh man, he's giving away the secret. But trust me, guys. This is no level. This secret is nothing compared to the other stuff that's I got new on my pitched vocals tutorial DVD. All right, so let's get started. Here's my hook vocals. You've already heard them. They're on my HC, HL, and HR tracks. However, these th three tracks right here are going out to my CLR bus. Let's go check out that bus. So here's the bus right here. And let's make sure that all the vocals are on there. There they are. They are on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to solo the vocals only. I'm going to mute my instrumental. Let's go to the CLR bus, which is right here. And as you can see, Here's that talk box sound. It's actually a send effect, right? Well, let's go look at what's creating it. And here's where the secret lies. All right. Here's my talk box effect send. Isotope trash. Hmm. Let's open that. And this is what you want to do. You want to go to Isotope Trash, which is a basically a guitar distortion or whatever you want to distort type plugin. You want to make sure it's enabled. Usually when it first comes up, all of these are active. You want to disable them. We are going to focus on this box model because this is where we're getting most of the effect from. All right. So you come to the chipped glass setting preset, or you can use the 10 gate. And actually, you can use any one you want. However, the ones that create more of the sound are the chipped glass. That's the one I tend to use if I ever use this effect. And you might find that it's a good one to use, too. So we got chipped glass. The mix, you want to leave it at 100% because we are using it in a send type fashion so it needs to be 100 percent wet so this will be your wet dry slider 100 percent wet you can mess around with the dynamic and the condenser and the ribbon which i will also do in this video however i find ribbon creates more of the effect i'm looking for you usually want to leave your input gain and output gain the same because we're using it as a send what this separation does and you'll understand that more once we start actually playing the vocals if you read the manual it tells you but i'm going to tell you basically what it's doing if you know what the Haas effect is, H-A-A-S, what it's doing and it's supposed to be emulating is two different microphones near the speaker cabinet, placed different distances, cause the sound to arrive at the microphone at different times. And then when you pan these two microphones left and right, you're able to hear them in stereo separation because of the Haas effect, because one is delayed more than the one that's on the left compared to the one on the right. So let's say the one on the left is delayed two milliseconds and the one on the right is Pit delayed you know 13 milliseconds but so that's just basically what's doing inside the program it's basically creating a stereo effect because when you have a mono source it comes directly down the center it's equal power from both speakers however if you delay the signal and you make copies you will only be able to hear the copies separately if you delay them it's called the Haas effect h-a-a-s go research it that is what this is doing. Your spread is also adding more spread to those effects so the more you spread it, you get more of a spread from the left and the right. The more you add separation, the more of a delay you're adding to those 
vocals that is creating even more of a sense. You can even go somewhat anti-phase or basically where it almost feels as though it's coming from behind you. So since we are in stereo, 320 kilobits per second for YouTube right now, um, what's going to happen is I'm going to bring these down to just the center right there, all to zero, and let's go ahead and dial in this effect. So I got the vocals playing alone, and this is the send. I'll remove it and reinstall it so you can see it. See, right here, go down to my talk box, effect send, there it is. I also got a delay throw and some reverb going on here. So let's go ahead and turn off the delay throw, which is side-chained. Here we go. Hold your glasses to the sky and hey DJ turn me So there's just the vocal, but let's dial in some talk box sound. Hold your glasses to the sky and hey DJ turn me And now I'm gonna exaggerate it so you can hear the effect and then we're gonna mess with the parameters of the plugin so you can see what they do. Hold your glasses to the sky and right now it's creating it down the center. Okay, but do remember that I have all three of these vocals coming to that bus and one's panned down the center. This is to the left 60%. This is to the right 60%. So we're processing all those vocals at the same time. Now we're able to mix the isotope trash and de determine the type of separation we want for the effect. So here you hear it. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up isotope trash and we are going to mess with the separation. Hold your glasses. Correction, we're going to mess with the spread. I'm going to spread it out. Right now it's down the center. Watch what happens as I increase the spread. If you have headphones on, you can hear this effect even more. You're going to hear it start to come out to the left and the right more. Hold your glasses to the sky and hey DJ, turn me higher. You know it's going down. The club is on fire. So no hey, got no so now it's coming out more to the left and the right, okay? Now to add even more separation, we can adjust this. Hold your glasses to the sky and hey DJ, turn me higher. You know it's going down the club. It now this does create what's called zipper noise, and that is as you adjust this while you're listening, you will get some zipper noise. This is an older version, so the newer versions may have corrected the zipper noise. So let's go ahead and play that separation. Hold your glasses to the sky and hey DJ turn me higher. You know it's going down the club is on fire. Ain't got no time for haters to be so you can go really wide with this effect, all right? More wide than you probably want to because as you collapse the mono, the more separation you add, as you collapse the mono, it can create a sense of washed out sound. I'll show you that. So since this is adding small delays to the left and the right so that you can add more stereo spread, I'm going to leave it on stereo spread this far and I'm going to collapse the mono with my big mono button down here. And I want you to listen and then as I bring the separation down, you'll hear how it becomes more focused. So if you have too much spread and someone is listening, let's say, on, a lot of people don't care about mono, but you should because if you're in a club and you got the left and the right speakers, unless you're doing LCR mixing, um, if you're on the left or the right near the right speaker, you're going to have sounds. If you're not panned to the left or the right, you'll only hear them if you're on the left, okay? Or... In this case, if you're listening on, let's say, a little, they have a thing called the Music Bullet. They have other names. And you basically plug it into your phone, and what happens is you're able to increase the volume of your phone sound. However, it's just one speaker, so it's mono. So if you ever collapse the mono, then you're going to have to deal with something like this. All right, so a lot of separation, which is a, a way more delay to create more of a stereo sound. Here we go. Hold your glasses to the sky and hey DJ turn me higher. All right, so watch as I bring down the separation. You're going to notice it becomes more clear. And there's a reason I'm showing you this. Hold your glasses to the sky and hey DJ turn me higher. You know it's going down. The club is on fire. Ain't got no time for haters. Too busy burning paper. The it up, watch it fall from the sky. Now you know. The reason why the reason the reason the reason why i'm showing you this is because you need to take mono consideration okay so if you're going really wide with the spread when it does collapse to mono here's the problem it can make whatever you have this effect on sound even further away so it's going to sound further away because it's got more separation it's got more of this delay on it and it does sound like it's deeper inside of a room okay so i really thought it was important to show you guys that Plus, you're learning about all the tricks of the parameters. So here we go. Let's move on. Okay, so what we are far from done. So let's check this out. You have two choices. You can use the internal EQ, which you're going to have the least amount of power. But if it's getting the effect that you need, okay, that's cool. Or you can follow it up with an EQ. So let's use the EQ with inside. 
I'm going to activate it here. And this is your high pass filter. As I bring it up, it's going to get rid of more of the lower frequency. It's going to sound more thin. And this is where you can also just create the excitation effect. So let's try this because we are using it as a send, as you guys know. So I'm going to play this, and I'm going to bring this slider up and listen to what it does. Hold your glasses to the sky and hey DJ, turn me higher. You know it's going down, the club is on fire. Ain't got no time for haters, too busy burning paper. Okay, so as you can see, as you bring the slider up, it does create type of a excitation effect. So what it's doing is it's just keeping the higher frequency of that tone, which is the talk box type tone, and it's basically creating an exciter type effect. However, if you want to get more of the effect on the vocal, you'd bring this down. Hold your glasses to the sky and hey DJ, turn me. You will find that if you bring it down further, you get more of a boxy sound because as we know, as well, most mix engineers know, that around 500 hertz is a boxy sound, so you'll start to get more of a boxy sound, so let's do that. Hold your glasses to the sky and hey DJ, turn me higher. You know it's going down, the club is on fire. And of course, you can mess with the high frequency region. Hold your glasses to the sky and hey DJ, turn me higher. You know it's going down, the club is on fire. Hey God. Creates a telephony type sound. All right, so we can use the EQ in here. However, you could also fall, turn that EQ off. All right, let's go back to the box model. You can also follow it up with your own EQ. Right here, I'm going to use the stock EQ in Studio One. Hold your glasses to the sky and hey DJ, turn me higher. You know it's going down, the club is on. If you feel like your higher frequencies are just causing too much of a harshness, you can actually just bring those down with your EQ. Hold your glasses to the sky and hey DJ, turn me then you can come in here and do some further EQ tweaking. Hold your glasses to the sky and now remember, we're not EQing the actual vocals on this bus. We're only EQing this effect that is going to them. Hold your glasses to the sky and hey DJ turn. So that's where a lot of the beauty comes in because you're able to tailor this to create the type of sound that you're looking for even more by using EQ. Now here's where the sound design aspect comes in. And you can only learn this from the DVD is how to create more of a robotic sound. So that's on the DVD. However, I'm just showing you guys how to get more of the talk box type sound. Now, sound design. That's where coming in here and actually adding more effects in your effects, you know, insert here area will create more of the effect, of course, and create different effects. So let's go and mess around with this some more. Um, let's mess with the separation. Hold your glasses to the sky and hey DJ, turn me higher. Now we'll turn on the dynamic and condenser and see how those sound. Hold your glasses to the sky and hey DJ, turn me higher. You know it's going down the club. And all that's doing is, uh, you know, basically emulating a dynamic microphone being placed next to the speaker box or the uh, amplifier or condenser microphone or a ribbon microphone. I tend to like the ribbon. Hold your glasses to the sky and... Now, you want to use the spread to mix it, all right? So if you have some, let's say, lead vocals you're adding this to, because this can also be used instead of reverb if you use it in this fashion. All right, so you would turn your reverb off. I got some reverb going on. I would turn my reverb off, and I'd basically dial this in for some reverb sound because this does add a sense of space around the vocals. And it'll add even more space if you add some spread. So if you have a lead vocal that's going down the center and you add more spread, it'll sound like two other little vocals coming in from the background. So it adds a sense of spread. However, we are using it, as I've already said, on all these vocals. So it's creating... We already got these panned left and right. So it's already, let's see what happens if I mute these. Hold your glasses to the sky and hey. So now we got the one going down the center. Let's see what I'm talking about here. Hold your glasses to the sky and hey DJ, turn me higher. You know it's go. Hold your glasses to the sky and hey DJ, turn me higher. You know it's going down, the club is on fire. Ain't got no time for haters, too busy bur So you see how this is right down the center? Hold your glasses to the sky and hey DJ, turn me higher. You know it's go. Hold your glasses to... All right, let's move to another portion because I'm really getting tired of hearing that. 
the thing about tracks, you know, you hear them like a hundred million times, and you're like, fuck, I hate this song by the time you're done. Got no time for haters, too busy burning paper. So imagine then adding some reverb onto that. Got no time for haters, too busy burning paper. Throw it up, watch it fall from the sky, now you know why this clip. So there's that. So this is how I might use it. I will come over here and I will just leave this because in case you're using it on other vocals, you still want to leave that enabled. I'm going to remove it from here though because I'm not going to use it on there. And just for processing power, I'm going to turn it off. All right, but you can still leave it on if you're using that talk box send on other vocals. So we're just messing with the reverb here. My reverb is right here. I'm going to turn off the trash. And all I did was I took this isotope trash and I stuck it on the reverb. So we're basically just going to affect the reverb sound. First up in my reverb, for my hook reverb, I got the Q2, which is basically removing some of the low frequency right before it hits the reverb. I got the Lexicon Plate PCM. These are the settings I'm using. And you typically want to use a small reverb for this, a small reverb time for this effect, okay? And I'm using a spread of 80, all right? And my millisecond for the pre-delay is 77. In this instance, I usually tailor mine to the tempo. And with a 77 millisecond delay, I go over delay and pre-delay and reverb type stuff in the tutorial DVD. However, I'll just tell you that pre-delay is very important. Um, pre-delay is the delay before the onset of the actual reverb so with a 77 millisecond delay you'll hear my lead vocal first then 77 milliseconds later the the, the reverb will start to come in if you have a zero millisecond pre-delay that's if you're going to be setting up like a reverb for something like a background vocal you want the reverb to envelope the vocal immediately which will kind of wash out the vocal and make it seem more distant. However, as I've said, this is a lead vocal element. I want to have a pre-delay of 77 milliseconds so you can hear my vocal first. So there's that. And I basically have the, have the isotope trash on there now. So here's the isotope trash. And basically the same settings as before. I'm going to leave it off at first and we're going to listen just to the reverb and the vocals. Got no time for haters. I'm of course going to exaggerate so you guys can hear it. Got no time for haters. Too busy burning paper. The widow watch it fall from... Okay, so there's the reverb, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the isotope trash now. Got no time for haters, too busy burning paper. The widow watch it fall from the sky, now you know why it is clear. Got no time for haters, too busy burning paper. And then this is where you have to start using your creativity and coming in and dialing in the actual EQ of this effect. So I would come in here and let's turn on this EQ. Got no time for haters, too busy burning paper. The widow watch it fall from the sky. Now you know why this club's on fire. So if you want to hear the reverb only, and I go over this extensively and I go over routing, you need to go watch my buses and routing tutorial. But in order for me just to hear the reverb, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send this to my main. I'm gonna send this pre-fader. Now when I turn this down. You can now hear just the reverb. So if you want to tailor your reverb sound, I'm going to now tailor my reverb sound for what I'm looking for. Now, you can also follow your reverb up with a de because if you leave a, high, a lot of the high frequencies, you may find yourself needing some de and getting rid of some of those tss -tss sounds, so you can follow that with a de -esser. So I got my reverb sounding how I think I'd want it to sound. Listening to my reverb tell. Okay, so let's bring this back in. So now in order to bring it back in, I would have to go all vox and then go post fader. Haters, too busy burning paper. The widow watch it fall from the sky. Now you know. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go to the instrumental, turn it on, and we're gonna dial in some sound here because you have to always mix with relation to the instrumental, guys. And this is mixtape fashion. Um, I have the license. This is a White Hot Production instrumental, by the way. Go check them out. White Hot Productions. Got no time for haters. Too busy burning paper. The widow watch it fall. So this is the vocals without that type of reverb sound. No time for haters. And then I'm going to bring it in. Let's turn on these delay throws. Got no time for 
the sky. Now you know why this club's on fire. All right, so as you see, I have showed you how to do it. Now, this is where you guys come in. It's all up to your creativity. What do you want to do to it now? You could throw more effects in, do some more sound design, tailor your reverb, all right? Or you could just tailor your talk box type vocal. So there you go, guys. I hope you guys learned something. This, like I said, is just a sample. I show many more things. At the end of this video, there's going to be a link to the whole Club on Flyer, Flyer, the whole Club on Fire playlist, all right? If you guys want to know, see more what my teaching method is, even though I do add some entertainment value here or there, um, I'm more direct and to the point in my my persona studio tracks buses and sends video so that's more how i teach all right this is just me messing around you know we're just hanging out whatever now here's another thing um i know some of you watching this right now um are gonna hate on me and put stuff in hater comments i call them hater comments because most of the comments i get are just comments from haters all right you're also might be another youtuber and you're probably gonna take this you're going to go take it to your channel, say, hey, guys, look what I figured out. And you're probably going to give it a like a little cool name, like official Drake vocal sound or something like that, which is going to, you know, it will draw attention to you and you will get a lot, probably a lot more views than me. However, um, if you guys could, I mean, be true to the game, guys. Say, hey, y'all, man, check this out. I learned this from this guy named Dozer, you know, and he's a real cool guy. Go check out his page. But uh, I'm going to show you how to do it here. I don't have no problem with that, guys, if that's what you're going to do. But if you're just going to straight up jack my shit, you know what I mean? Um, that's kind of gay. I'll call you out on it if I have to. So whatever. It is what it is. Um, to all my people keeping it real, um, I appreciate you guys watching. Again, at the end of this video, there's going to be a like and a subscribe. If you can just like and subscribe, um, there they are right there. If you can just subscribe to my channel, go ahead and like. It'll help me out a lot. Help me out immensely. You can get this video out to other people. So, uh, like I said, it's up to your own creativity. Go watch the other uh, stuff in my Club on Fire, basically the song you're listening to right now. I'll leave a link in the description. You can actually go download it if you want. But the song was created specifically for these tutorials. So, I'll shut the hell up now. Peace out. Dozer.